Hello dear friends, thank you for joining me today. So the idea behind this video is to show you some common errors that you would probably meet uh, when you work with Power Automate. Um, this is going to be mainly theoretical, so we're not going to go into the portal, but this will help you to prepare to do some troubleshooting with um, cloud or desktop flows. So let's get to it. One of the very common errors that you will see is um, related to authorization. So the, if you see an error code, something like 401 or 403, uh, there are a couple of things you should do. So you should definitely check the account credentials and also check the account permissions. This is a common error that is normally related to either one of those uh, things. Then uh, one of the other common errors is called bad request. You probably saw it quite a lot. And uh, this error it has a specific error code 400. And it means that uh, probably a web method is not correct. Like uh, you have to check if uh, you're using post where it should be used instead of get. And also if uh, the data is in the correct format. So when you're trying to, to pass the data or to reach specific data, it has to be in the format which is accepted by the service or the connector. So if uh, the data has to be in JSON, you know, you, you should uh, uh, have the proper format. Um, so yeah, you know, things like that. Uh, then another common error code is 404, which means not found. And it means that in your uh, Power Automate flow, the resource file path or URL, URI is not correct. So these are two things you should check. Check that the path is correct and the URL is correct. Another common error is called uh, rate limit exceeded and this is error 404. Uh, the thing with this error is uh, Normally, it's related to a throttling limit. So the limit of how many API requests can be sent uh, to or from a specific service. So for that, you know, to troubleshoot this error, you can check the flow history and to, to see how many flows run. You know, if the number is extremely high, that could lead to some problems. And also, if any of your connectors have connections to other services with API limits, then that could be the cause. So make sure that you do not exceed this, uh, you know, how many web calls, web requests are um, done. Uh, next error, if you're using um, a gateway and uh, it's called uh, error 502, the, uh, this error is very uh, common. It's, uh, uh, you know, it can happen when the protocol which you're using is not correct. So uh, sometimes you would use HTTP instead of HTTPS and that could cause the error. Or if your firewall or proxy is blocking the service or connection. The next error, uh, it's a service unavailable. Uh, with error code 503 and the thing is when one of your services that you're using is offline or there is a really heavy load to the service then you could receive this error the easiest solution is just to wait a little bit to see if it changes if if nothing happens then um, there is a cliche phrase you know just to get in touch with technical support for that service which is causing uh, this error and the last error I want to cover today is called a uh, gateway timeout. So the thing with this one is uh, it's most likely related to firewall or proxy. So you should definitely check your firewall or proxy configuration and check that no additional protection services block in the original one. Sometimes you can have some kind of um, 
uh, antivirus or some kind of other protection services and this service can interrupt with the original one you know it can treat it as a malicious service so uh, that's that's the thing to check so this were the common errors you know and uh, one more little thing I wanted to show you when you see some errors that you cannot resolve there are a couple of places you can go to to ask for help one place is um, Power Automate uh, community website. So this is the one. It's at URL powerusers.microsoft.com, and also uh, there is one. Uh, it's called Power Automate User Group, and this is uh, Auto uh, Automate UG like usergroup.com. So uh, these are great resources. You can join this one for free. And of course, the community is a free resource. Uh, there are a lot of posts, a lot of questions there. So that's something you can definitely uh, use to uh, help you uh, improve and help you uh, with some errors that you come across. So I hope it's been helpful. Uh, have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.